Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see I've already done one eye here so I'll just be replicating that for you. So first things first, I'm going to take these two light orange tones from the Malibu eyeshadow palette from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics and on a fluffy crease brush from Zawave I'm just chucking that through the inner third of the crease. Next, taking a light green shade, this is Kick Out from the same Malibu eyeshadow palette from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. I'm going in and placing that on the outer two thirds of the crease. Not all the way to the outer corner, but almost. Next, I'm going to take a light blue shadow on another fluffy crease brush from Zoeva, and I'm taking that all the way past the tail of my brow. As you guys can see, I'm doing a little bit of a flick on the outer corner, and I just blend all those shades together until they're nice and blended and there's no harsh lines. Next, I'm going in and cutting my crease. As you guys can see, I'm doing a very dramatic cut crease here. And I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Cream Puff. I'm just basically going in and cutting the whole crease all the way to the tail of the brow. Next, I'm going in and taking these light blue shadows from the Malibu Beauty Box Cosmetics. I'm basically setting that on the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm taking my Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette and taking Macarons, which is that beautiful shimmery green, and placing that along the crease of the cut crease. <laughs> Just along that line, because I want the green to be quite prominent um, on the top part of the lid. Then I'm taking this beautiful bold eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I'm placing that all over the lid. It's a beautiful light turquoise blue. It's so gorgeous and I just loved it all over the lid. Then I'm going in and doing a bit of a winged liner. This is the, I think it's Voodoo Gel Liner from Morphe and I'm doing quite a dramatic wing as you guys can see. Then I'm going over top with Royalty from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette and kind of smoking out that winged liner with that and I'm going in with a few more different eyeshadows I'm going in with this lighter purple shadow and smoking out a little bit more into the blue and then going in with the kind of dark purple and magenta -y shade I'm basically smoking the wing liner out a little bit more next going in with lashes I think I use the eyelore lashes in you want it I can't quite remember what the style was I'll link it down below for you then going in for my bottom lash line, I'm taking Royalty again and lining that quite close to the bottom lash line area and smoking that out with that light shimmery purple shade again. Then taking that beautiful magenta shade, I'm going in and smoking that out again. Just similar to what we did with the smoky line, I'm just kind of repeating that on the bottom lash line area. Then taking the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette, Deuce, I'm taking the shadow macarons again and placing that on the inner third of the lower lash line, like the inner corner area. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous, very, very stark kind of electric green shadow called Limeade from Fair Slayer Cosmetics. I'm going in and placing that on the bottom lashes. I want it to be a little bit different, and I found that that green, like that very lime colored, very like neon green shadow, um, made the look very extra and I just loved the, I loved how it tied in with that kind of like shimmery green on the inner corner of the bottom lash line and Next again going in with the gel liner from Morphe I'm going in and just kind of creating a little bit of a cat eye Effect to the eyes. So I'm going in and kind of extending the inner corner there and also bringing that along my waterline and There you have it guys. It is the finished makeup look <laughs> For lips today, I did go in with a couple different shades. I went in with the NYX Suede Liquid Lipsticks, that purple shade, which I will link down below, and I went over with Burgundy from Faux Color Cosmetics, the liquid lipstick, um, over top to get that kind of vampy lip color. I was obsessed, obsessed with it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you very, very soon. Mwah. Bye, guys.